right, just taking a trip down memory lane, I was getting into a uh, portfolio full of original artwork and I came across some originals for uh, some t-shirt designs that I did for the original rubber stamp convention. Other people might know it as the Carson convention. It was the, really the first uh, rubber stamp convention um, around. It was kind of a different incarnation of one that happened um, in the parking lot, but then the newest incarnation moved to um, Carson, California, which was where the coordinator, uh, my old boss from Ace to Kathy from Stamp of the Hand, um, took over the reins of the uh, the show, and it became what it did. But it, it was big, and it was really gaining a lot of uh, momentum in the early 1990s. That's when kind of the industry really started to explode. And you saw more and more people getting into the hobby and uh, more and more manufacturers and retailers starting to open up really in the kind of more of the mid 90s but you can really feel the um kind of the the momentum um back at this point in time um a little bit in the late 80s but i would say 1990 was when it really got started but anyways uh, my boss got we used to give away these little badges and she came up with this idea that maybe they'd start doing some um t-shirt designs you know for each show i think the show was either happening maybe twice a year at this point in time then it moved to three times a year just because it was so popular and uh just the demand was there at least in terms of uh, southern california but people flew to it from all over the place but anyways this was my first t-shirt design it wasn't this you know it got shrunk down you know to fit on a t-shirt but this is my original design right here and just this i was doing these garland types of designs for um, them at the time kind of these real festive types of uh, stamp designs so i put um you know your traditional these are the types of stamps that we were doing um back in the day these little kind of um hour hour not really hourglass but these um i forgot the name of that shape right there but it had this little uh, you know, this little sleeve that went underneath these stamps right here, and it had the pre-adhered um, foam on it, so we were um, rubber cementing our stamps to it. But anyways, a couple of the different stamp companies used that, but I just put on to put one of the regular stamps on here, you know, just your hand stamp type of thing. No stamp company, art stamp company used those, but I thought it was more of a recognizable form. Anyways, this came out, I designed this to be done in three different colors, so they did these color separations for the streamers on here, and I think some of the confetti was different colors. I don't know if the, the wording, I think the wording, we kept it just um, black on a white t-shirt, um, but I always, I don't know, I, I felt it was strongest um, just in black and white, but the color did get some nice attention. It was done in a, like a pinkish color and a light blue, so... Anyways, those t-shirts went off really well, and she gave one to each vendor. Okay, moving on. I believe this was the next convention. This was March 1992 here, and here's my butterfly wings. No, there, there was probably one in between this. There's probably a 1991, if not two for 1991. But anyways, I don't remember the order, so I'll just pop these ones out here, right here. But anyways, these are my kind of Art Nouveau um, butterfly wings here. And then I, I did this, uh, I replaced this rubber stamp in here with just a regular butterfly. Now this design right here is in our symmetry, um, the Stampscapes symmetry sheet set. Um, but anyways, I did some, I got some practice in, in doing these types of designs right here, These uh, this butterfly here, because I was studying um, for one of my illustration classes we had to do some sort of form a figure that incorporated about three different styles of artwork and i like the idea of a kind of a butterfly done in an art nouveau style so i had this little figure done with um, these types of wings so i this is my second kind of go around uh, doing these uh uh, types of uh, real stylized wings here um, which is really fun to do but um anyways yeah those are in my uh symmetry sheet set this one was uh, they, they didn't do this in a uh, multiple colors i think we just kept it black and white um just to keep the strength of form on there i don't know it could have been done in you know some kind of other color maybe um or this could have been printed on a you know they could have printed on a different color t-shirt but black and white that was always the cheapest way to go so that was most of the t-shirts that i was designing 
Um, this one was another one, 1992. It was the March show. That other one was, I forget the name of that one, but I came up with this one right here. Um, kind of the rains were coming off and I was getting a lot more freedom and, or I, I don't know, I never really had, the, you know, the, a lot of restrictions, you know, um, with, um, kind of what I was to draw, but I started putting all the little types of things that I liked in designs, kind of little hidden things. I started using rub-on lettering right here and doing these uh, kind of uh, marble types of uh, textures on here to make it look like some sort of old kind of Greco-Roman type of, uh, I don't know, symbolic types of uh, iconography on here, you know, with um, the different... Um, uh, um, orbital patterns and whatnot. Um, I think I put this right here. It's, it's like uh, the universe right here is going around the uh, the sun, and you know, here are these little planets are orbiting uh, a stamp. Carson, California. I don't know if I put some kind of little designation right down there. A uh, little notation to myself right here. Um, and these forms right here, this moon and the sun, are in my um, symmetry sheets as well. I think it's symmetry sheet number one. So I used these uh, couple forms right there off of that. But, um, and that's uh, JVL. That's The V is how they used to do. Um, I think it's in Latin or something like that. So um, it's really RSC, rubber stamp convention, July. And that L... Uh, or the 11 right there, if I got what that was, but see, 92 right here, and Stampus Rubberus. <laughs> and here are the drawings for this one, kind of, and this one was probably the, night. yeah, this one's the 1992 one. I think this is the second design that I did. So this is the original drawing right there, and then all those little pieces right there, or all those little details, like, you know, the universe kind of, uh, revolving around um, the stamps, which, you know, at a stamp convention, everything does revolve around the rubber stamp, you know, for at least for us stampers, or for the stampers back then. Um, so, all kinds of little um, details on this one. I did these little um, rays of the sun in kind of different formats right here. Uh, let me see, I think I had the date in here somewhere. There's uh, latitude, longitude right here. And this was July 13th. Oh, I, I remember this one, right? It was supposed to be this dial, so the December right here has more of those little snowflakes like that um, for the time. So all those little details like that kind of went into it. Here's July, okay, so the July 13th was the uh, the date of that show. It looks like it hadn't turned into a two-day show yet, so just a one-day show. Boy, those were crazy. And, uh, of course, that rubber stamp right there for the eye. So all kinds of little dials and everything like that working this one. And anyways, this one was formatted right here, and I didn't... This is still a little bit early in the, uh, you know, using computers, so I think I did the... Uh, I used to have to ha do this on... Um, the computer and then I'd have it printed out at a print house. Um, you can just print it out at home, you know, we didn't have a really good um, um, laser printers back in the day. So anyways, these are all kind of, uh, um, uh, I've got, I'm forgetting the names of all these things. Paste up, I can't remember all these names, all these old terms for everything like that. So this is a paste up and this was used as the original, and then this one was done in all black and white. So I saw this one um, kind of coming back to the conventions, you know, it, the vendors wearing these ones for uh, quite a few years after that one. So it's always fun kind of watching your uh, artwork kind of walking around and whatnot. Okay, now this one was probably, I don't know, it was like the fifth or sixth uh, design that I did for him. Now this one looks really sparse, okay, because we had a an idea for them. This was the 10th anniversary, 1992. 10 right here, November 14th. And I kept it light um, because instead of going black on white t-shirts, this one here, this design here, was going to be printed in gold ink on black t-shirts. So those ones are quite um, dramatic 
and it was pretty interesting but I had to kind of work around that kind of formatting you don't want to go too heavy you know because when it's printing gold on black it's going to be reversed so anything um, in positive like that is going to be um, or anything dark on light in the design is going to be light on dark when it comes to the printing so I had to kind of work around those parameters and I kept everything a little bit lighter you know, the dots in here, the stippling work and the line work is all a little bit more spread out because you don't want those things clumping and becoming um, kind of distracting and that kind of reversed out type of uh, format. So really fun right here. And uh, I don't know, I didn't get, get to go too crazy with it, but I'd gotten to put on all my little details like this. Here's the Carson, California, 10 years of stamping and whatnot. But anyways, I got to really kind of play around with them um, a lot of um, text work and fonts and how those all kind of interplay in it so uh, a little bit of design artwork and uh, kind of working with different fonts and graphics were uh, something that I was uh, kind of tuned into at the time after taking um, lettering and typography in college um, from the head of the graphic arts department which was a uh, I don't know super super kind of nerve-wracking class because um, any little thing you know when it comes to fonts like even like a, a hundredth of an inch or something like that made a difference in terms of the overall feel of a piece so this one was really kind of stretching my uh, primitive capabilities when it came to that um, especially when I had to kind of think about this type of thing in reverse when I couldn't really see it in reverse so it just had to be imagined but anyways it came out pretty good and I think that was the uh, a really uh, fun t-shirt design for, uh, uh, I don't know, the, the, the event and for the recipients of the shirt having received all, you know, the same types before on white shirts. So anyways, I don't think I did another design after this one. Might have been one more or something like that, but um, I think this was the end of it because I started designing stamps for... Um, stampscapes back in the day and I just didn't have the time to work on... Um, um, you know, extracurriculars at the uh, and whatnot, or peripheral things because I had all the, uh, you know, I didn't have uh, all the time in the world anymore. So, anyways, um, just busy ever since and uh, trying to work on designs for stampscapes. Anyways, thanks for watching. And if you're a long time stamper, you might recognize these, but these are. You can see the originals of where those, uh, you know, early designs uh, kind of came from and some of the concepts behind them and uh, whatnot. I think I have some of these, uh, a, a copy of these shirts sitting around somewhere still. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.